Here we have a Whirlpool dishwasher that has just stopped in the middle of its cycle and we can see the LED, the start LED is blinking four times then pausing then four times again. This would indicate normally a fault with the drainage system that it's not draining out. So we're going to just open it up and have a look inside. With the door open and the bottom basket removed we can see that it's full of water so it hasn't been able to drain out. Most likely cause would be the filter being blocked so we're going to remove that and see if that fixes our problem. To remove the filter we can grab it and twist it and lift it out and we're going to take it over to the sink and wash it out but also we're going to check that there's no plastic or anything else blocking it up. Just fish around with your hand carefully because there can often be broken glass. Everything seems fine there. So we're going to have a look at this in the sink. So we have the filter now nicely cleaned up. We're going to pop back in our screen and put the filter back in and it's locked in. So now we're just going to close the door and give it a run to see if it will drain out. To cancel the previous program that was running on this dishwasher we hold in the start button and turn it on and after a few seconds the start button light will start to flash. That means it's back to the start and then we're going to start a new cycle any cycle at all. And we hear nothing. We can hear a faint hum of a motor that sounds like it's stuck. We should be hearing the noise of a drain pump. So that means we're going to have to manually drain it out and take a look at the pump which either is stuck with a piece of debris in it or the motor is worn out. So I have drained the dishwasher out manually just with a cup and we have tilted it, pulled it out, tilted it back up on its side and removed the bottom cover. This here is the drain pump. This is the wash pump with the built-in element and this is our inlet valve back here. So this is what we're concerned with, the drain pump. So I'm going to pop off the electrical connector, just a two-wire connector and then there's a little tab at the top. We push it in and rotate the pump and then it pops out. There will always be a little bit of water. And now I can see our pump. The pump appears fine. So we're going to have a look in and see is there any dirt clogging it inside. Now looking into the housing where the pump sits Initially it looks clean, but after a little bit of inspection we found a small piece of glass. And that was enough to block the impellers from spinning. So we're going to put it all back together again and see how it works. So I have the machine back together now and I'm just going to run it with the door open to see if it drains out properly. I've put a few saucepans of water in so I should be able to see it drain now. We can hear it and it sounds good. Hopefully we'll see it drain out now. There we go. Perfect. So I'm happy that's a fix. And we'll call it a day.